Here she is, it's Miss America. Hey guys, I'm Allison, I'm the Pampered Wife. I am in my bathrobe. It has been raining or snowing all morning this morning. So yeah, I just haven't, I spilled coffee on my bathrobe. I just haven't had a lot of incentive to get dressed. I will before the end of this video, but right now I'm super comfy in my bathrobe and I've got my Sephora purchases. I'm so proud of myself. So at the beginning of the year, I made a resolution to not buy things until I ran out or to only buy something if I was taking that same type of item out of my collection. No, I have not stuck to that. But I only bought four things from the Sephora sale. Now, part of that is due to the fact that I was really not tempted by much. It's kind of surprising to me. The only thing that I was kind of tempted by that I didn't even delve into was the Rose Ink line. At this point, it's been out for a while and I've seen reviews and I kind of want to try her serum foundation product, but it's basically a skin blurring serum. And then I kind of want to try her lipsticks, but I have way too many lipsticks that I already don't use. So I feel like instead of that skin blurring foundation, I would prefer to use an SPF under my makeup or as my makeup attended SPF. It's just far more effective and purposeful to me than that product. So I steered clear of the rose ink and there really wasn't any other makeup except I got the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. It's clean AF. I got the shade Glazed and it comes in six shades. It's $25. This is a pale pinky beige with pearl finish. And let's read, shall we, some of the things it has to say. It's got the Maximal Lip with Every Dip featuring Max Lip, which is a trademarked ingredient or name that they have, which is clinically proven to increase collagen synthesis 351%, increase lip volume by 40%, improve hydration by 60%, and reduce lip folds by 29%. Wow. Some other Call out ingredients are shea butter, of course, which is to hydrate and smooth, and hyaluronic acid, which will make lips feel pillowy soft. It claims, or Lawless claims, that with consistent use, this gloss is shown to visibly increase lip volume and decrease lines. So some of the comments online said that it is really sticky and thick, and those were the main drawbacks. The good things were a lot of people found it really did plump the lips and it wasn't stingy as opposed to that people did find it a little bit uh, tingly. Now I've never used a product like this, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on because I have nothing on my lips. My lips are very dry and I'm curious about this. It's just a frosted glass packaging and I did read by the way that it has a huge doe foot applicator and that when you remove it, it does look like the product is almost completely empty and Lawless did go out of their way to explain on the website that it does have the full I don't know 3.3 milliliters or whatever it claims the volume is 3.3 milliliters in here once you remove the doe foot applicator it is a large doe foot applicator uh, which is curved to fit on the lip oh it has a nice fruity scent and it is very thick Yeah, I like the scent. It's not overpowering, but it's definitely there. This is very thick. I don't find it particularly sticky. Actually, it is a little sticky. The comment said your hair would definitely stick. So let's see. Let's take a good look at my lips now. And then see in, well, by the end of this video, what they look like. Now we're moving on with the next product I want to go in with. This is the Tula Skin Care Mineral Magic Mineral Sunscreen Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 30 UVA UVB Protection. So it is the type of protection I'm looking for, broad spectrum. It's a decent uh, SPF, which is 30, and it is mineral. The important things to me were, one, it's mineral, two, it's reef safe. Um, it's free of all these things. By the way, I'm starting to feel the tingling in my lips, especially my upper lip, which is 
a lot smaller, I feel like. This product does also happen to be gluten-free, which I think is important to point out. Let's read about it. It has the Tula Complex, which is a proprietary Super 6 blend of prebiotics and probiotic extracts to help improve skin smoothness and maintain skin balance. It has peach. It doesn't say like peach extract, or I'm sure it does say on the back somewhere, which is way too tiny, but I'm just reading the call outs here on the box. It has peach, which brightens and evens skin tone, red algae, which provides oil control and antioxidant protection, which would just be like environmental stressors and anti-aging. Wild butterfly ginger helps protect against the damaging effect of blue light and pollution. Oh, it says to shake it, use over a moisturizer. And the comments on this were, when I first bought it, had zero comments. And then now it has 22 four and a half star ratings. And the comments pretty much say that it has no white cast, wears great under makeup, can be matte on the skin if you have dry skin and don't use a moisturizer underneath. I do have moisturizer on as well as a thick eye cream that I've had on hopefully long enough to let that sink in. So let's go ahead and pull this out. I've never tried anything by Tula. This is a brand new sunscreen. It's cute packaging. I like that it's flat so I can stand it Oop, up. <laughs> it is plastic. I hear the ball in there, but I'm gonna shake it really well because I haven't used it yet and it's been sitting. I received this order probably a week ago. I just haven't had a chance to get to it. Okay, I think that's enough. It's cute. It doesn't feel slippery. Like it's, um, it's not rough at all or really rubberized, but it's that kind of idea of packaging. So it, it shouldn't be slick in the hands, which is nice. Ooh. I live at a high altitude, and so for things to come squirting out upon first opening is not surprising. So it does have a yellowy peach color to it. I'm just gonna wipe that on the back of my hand so it doesn't get all over. It seems quite liquidy, not water liquidy. I don't think there's a scent. I'm still smelling the lip filler, which is, by the way, still tingling. I'm putting it on one half of my face so we can see the tint level. And it looks, yeah, just sheer. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bit more on. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely a consistency that you can manipulate super easily, but not, it's not runny, which I do appreciate. I think there is sort of an odor to it, which is not, really pleasing but it's not super off-putting and it's faint. I do always put sunscreen on my eyelids and around my eyes so let's see how that goes if there's any irritation. I feel like it's feeling cooling on my forehead but I can't say I noticed that anywhere else. I don't know if I said that this product is oil-free and it definitely does not feel greasy in applying it. It doesn't feel greasy on my skin. It feels like it probably would be matte if I didn't have a moisturizer under it. Yeah, it's definitely not dewy. I think it does have a nice finish. I'm gonna give it a few minutes. I turned the lighting down a little bit so you could see what the finish is of the Tula SPF. It really is not at all dewy. It's just gone over my lotion that I put on this morning. It just went over it beautifully. It, I don't feel anything on my skin, extra or thick or anything. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead put on the rest of my makeup except for my say Dew blush, which I will show you I got the shade chili and then we will also go over my other purchases I'll be right back. All right, so I put the rest of my face on everything I'm wearing will be listed down below in the description box I think my lips uh, do look larger. I haven't I think I took one sip of my coffee and then I was like, oh, no, I'm not supposed to do that I think the shine is still there and there's still if I pay attention, I'm used to it now, but if I pay attention, there is still some tingling there. I'm very excited. This product, I think it works. So now I'm gonna go in with the Say Dew Blush. I have one other shade. I already know I love it. This is the shade Chili, and it just says Liquid Cheek Flush. It is a water-based gel blush, so just keep that in mind. It might not play well with all foundations. If you have an oil-based foundation on, it might remove some of the product or pill. I've never had that issue, but you know, water plays nicely with water, oil plays nicely with oil, and the two don't typically mix very well. 
you know, just like all their others. It's the Chunky Doe Foot Applicator. Oh, let me read some call-out ingredients first. It's got mulberry to brighten and fade hyperpigmentation, elderberry, which acts as an antioxidant, protecting you from environmental damage, combating free radicals. It's got evening primrose to moisturize and soothe dry or irritated skin. It does come in six shades. And the one I got, like I said, is Chili. It is a cool toned mauve. Let me get my mirror out here. I've never found this to be streaky or patchy. It's not at all tacky or sticky. So I'm just wiping off the excess on the inside of the tube there. I'm gonna place two dots. And the other thing I found is while this is pigmented, it shears out beautifully. I've never applied too much even if I'm heavy handed. Oh, I really like this shade. I needed that pop of color. And I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful. Now the bronzer I have on does have a bit of shimmer to it, but hopefully you can see the difference between the two sides as far as the dewiness. And like I said, it's not at all tacky or sticky and it just melts right into the skin. If there is a shade you think you like, this, I do recommend, I already knew I would love it. I was just excited to try a new shade. And I do use these products on my lips too. One time in a video, I took the Doe Fit applicator and applied it right to my lips, which I never do, and I would recommend not doing that, but it is nice on the lips. And the color really is long lasting. Like most uh, cream blushes really fade, and this one stays nicely. I think I put more on this side than the other side. I think that is a great shade. I'm really pleased with it. And I'm not gonna put anything on my lips. I guess you'll let me know. The video's not done yet, but it's been about 45 minutes, I think, that I've had the lip product on. Yeah, I think it looks as good as my lips look when I overline them a teeny bit and put on some lip gloss of some kind. The gloss and sheen itself helps make the lips look larger, but I don't have a lip liner on. I'm just looking at the texture too. It is a little sticky. I mean, the texture reminds me of the um, St. Jane lip gloss, which happened to be my favorite lip gloss of 2021. So I like it. I like feeling it on my lips. It feels moisturizing, comfortable, and yeah, it's not tingling anymore. By the way, the Tula SPF, I applied my foundation over it flawlessly, no problem, no pilling, just like the review said. So I'm very happy with that. Now, the last purchase is really kind of like nine purchases. It's the Ellis Brooklyn Scent Diary. It's a fragrance discovery set. It is eau de parfums as opposed to eau de toilettes. So eau de parfums just have a larger percentage of the perfume oil in it. So it's gonna be stronger and more long lasting than an eau de toilette. I'm very sensitive, have allergies, lots of things give me headaches. This is an interesting purchase for me, but it is a clean fragrance set. I've been trying other fragrances. For some reason, I'm into fragrances now, whereas I never have been before. And in the clean space, I was mostly using Skylar and I was really excited about it at first, but then they kind of all started to smell the same. Like at first they smelled different, but the longer I had them on or smelled them, it, they just sort of had the same base and smelled the same. So I'm ready for something different. It has the description of every scent on the back here. Now, before I get started, when I first bought this, there were no ratings. Now on Sephora, there are 36 five-star ratings, which is pretty fantastic. People mostly commented that they liked pretty much every scent in here. Maybe there were two that they didn't care for, but out of nine cents, that's pretty phenomenal. They are in glass little bottles, and each one, uh, here's what it has to say about it, I should say. Dear Scent Diary, today was an up and down kind of day, but my signature scent, exactly me. Change your unique scent each day and some with this comprehensive fragrance discovery set featuring all our top selling fragrances. So let's go ahead and open her up. And in case you're wondering, you can read all about the ingredients and what is not included in Clean at Sephora products on each individual product page or just read generally. But this one is vegan and cruelty free as well as none of the other stuff. Like each little thing contains 0 0.07 fluid ounces, which is two milli milliliters. Okay, and we will start 
with Super Amber Eau de Parfum, which is this one here. Ooh, I think I like this one. Amber Cedarwood Vanilla Orchid, and then it says in French. <laughs> How are we gonna do this? I'm gonna spray this one on, because from first scent, I like it. So yeah, they are spray bottles, with, whoop, which I like, as opposed to the kind that you, you know, tip over and tab, dab on. Okay, I'll just read the notes of all these. There is no top. I'm looking for the top for this. Okay, so travel with it would be difficult, or, you know, you're not going to put it in your purse because it doesn't have a top on the individual ones. It's not making me sneeze at all so far. I don't know how to describe it other than to read you the scents. Like I said, I've never been a perfume person, but let's move on. We've got Sci-Fi has vanilla bean, green tea, and bitter orange. But then we've got Myth, which is Ambrette, Jasmine, White Cedar Wood. I guess it lists the top three. And then it does list all the ingredients below if you have your readers or magnifying glass. There's Salt Eau de Parfum, which is Tahitian TR, Ambergris Vegan, Sandalwood. Then we have Sweet Eau de Parfum, which is Pear, Oris, and Marshmallow. Mm. Bee Eau de Parfum, which I have read smells like honey, and it does say vegan honey. It says it has vegan honey. That's a new one on me. Vegan Honey, Dark Rum, and Cocoa Absolute. Okay, I think I'm really gonna like that one. West Eau de Parfum, which is Blood Orange, Water Lily, and Oak Moss. Sun Fruit Eau de Parfum, which is, oh, Fresh Fig, Jasmine, and Vanilla, Pianfolia. And finally, Apre Eau de Parfum, which is Juniper Berries, Bourbon, and Sandalwood. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like almost all of these. I'm, I think maybe I'll just wear one a day and see if I feel like, no, no, I don't want to move on to the next day. Then I'll know that one's really a favorite. But in the meantime, Super Amber is lovely. It hasn't bothered me. I have no headache. My eyes aren't itching or watering. And I've had this on, you know, for a couple minutes now that I read through all that. And I typically would already have all those side effects. If it was going to bother me. I can't speak for every scent in here but at least the first one that I'm trying. And it smells lovely. It doesn't smell like anything else I have from Skylar, so that's a plus. And this will just be fun. So, guys, that is everything. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. I'm curious what your favorite sunscreen is for your face this summer. I'm gonna be doing a facial sunscreen video of all my face sunscreens, um, but I'd still love to hear from you what your favorites are or if you don't like any that I should steer clear of. Let's look at the lips for a moment. You see a difference? I do, I definitely see a difference. Holy cow. Now we're all familiar with our own faces more than anyone else is, so I probably see the biggest difference. But given that I have no lip liner on or anything, I'm quite impressed. It is comfortable, it is moisturizing, it is glossy, it's a teeny bit tacky. Maybe it's my age. I grew up with tacky lip glosses. You know, I've always worn sticky tacky lip glosses and when I can't feel them, I think I'm a little dissatisfied. So I happen to like this texture. So far it's working. And then I already knew that I would love <clears throat> the Say Do Blush. I just, I love it. And I'm thrilled with the shade that I got. I think it's really pretty and that I will be able to wear this a lot. It's not too deep. It's actually not quite as pink as I expected it to be, or cool as I expected it, which I'm happy about because I think this will be really nice for summer. So that is it. I'd love to hear from you down below in the comment section. Like I said, I'll leave description in the description box everything that I've talked about today and everything that's on my face. If you enjoyed this video at any point, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe. And as always, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.